Um, basically, today I received the Teenage Engineering OPXY, and uh, I ordered it not fully understanding how it would work with uh, sequencing external instruments. Um, and that's sort of what my interest in the device is. I've got a number of, uh, you know, uh, synthesizers, and I wanted to control them with this complex sequencer. So what I've done is I've created a template inside of Ableton that allows me to record all of the MIDI from the different channels and all the audio from my synths to record my performances. And then uh, instrument tracks on the OPXY 1 through 8 are all on uh, respective MIDI channels, uh, which talks to my instruments. And um, basically, here I'll show you. This is the Rev 2 on MIDI channel 8. This is the uh, Waldorf Quantum on MIDI channel 7. That's the Prophet X on channel 6. That's the Moog 1 on channel 5. And then here are four parts of the Jupiter XM. And then, and then the bass. All right, so uh, I have here, you can see in my Ableton template, I'm able to grab all that MIDI on those different channels. And uh, it's really small, but I'm uh, getting the audio as well separated. So, let's see. If I just uh, press play, you can hear a sequence I've dialed up. So, uh, what you're hearing is uh, just the external hardware that I'm sequencing. Now if I turn the volume up, you'll also hear me blend in the uh, sounds from the OPXY, which is a cool, interesting layer. It's nice to layer sounds. And uh, all right, let's check out punch and effects. Punch and effects. So yeah, I'm able to record separately all these instruments and sequence them and blend sounds from the OPXY. And uh, yeah, I love the portability of being able to come up with sequences and stuff on the go. And then to be able to just plug it in uh, and have my hardware synthesizers recorded in this way. So I'm pretty pleased. This is exactly what I was hoping uh, to do with this device. And uh, 